What's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how I never get tired even while working long hours and long days inside of my business and how you can do the same and never get burnt out. So step zero, before we even get into the four step framework, step zero is you got to recognize the problem, right? You got to figure out what the problem actually is. In most cases, people don't burn out. In fact, I don't believe in it personally. I've gotten burnt out plenty of times yet. I still don't believe in burnout. People just lose their drive and they lose their passion, but it's not burnout. It's loss of purpose. You need to understand that no one just always feels like doing it. I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like recording this right now. It's late at night. I don't feel like doing it yet. I still come on here and do it. Why? Because I know I need to get it done. When you can develop that do it anyways mindset, you can conquer any task that stands in your way. Listen, your actions and your feelings are two completely different things. They don't have to be correlated and they don't have to relate to each other. So stop trying to blame the lack of actions on your feelings. If you feel like you're burnt out, remember that a valley is just the place of meeting between two slopes and two mountains. Meaning that if you had a really good time and now you're at a low point, that means it's just an advertisement for that next high point. Listen, you don't have to feel like it to work to 110% capacity. Not every day is going to be perfect, but you do need to put in the actions every day. You might not get the outputs, but if you can put in the inputs, you'll become unstoppable. This doesn't have to do with feelings. This has to do with having the discipline to get stuff done. Discipline is a transferable skill. So if you learn it in one side of your life, you can learn it in others. I learned this through doing the 75 hard program. When I did it, I built up that mental toughness. I built up that discipline that I transferred into the business. Again, discipline is built by doing those things that require it. So going out and walking in a tornado is gonna build that discipline up and it's gonna help you in business because whenever things get tough in business, you're gonna have the discipline to get it done anyways. The main reason that most people burn out is just because their task list is empty. You should always have a continuous task list. You should never have an empty task list. There's always more to do. There's always more to put in. Yes, it might not be the fun stuff. It might not be the stuff that you look forward to, but it still needs to get done. So you need to add some stuff to your task list. Never let that task list get to zero. Burnout is a feeling that comes from a lack of productivity, meaning that if you don't do anything or get anything done, you're going to feel like you're burnt out. Now that we've reverse engineered it, how do you solve this? Well, every single day you need to be using the power list. You need to be writing down five critical tasks that you're going to do every single day. And you're not going to compromise on them no matter what. This could be sticking to a diet. This could be writing for 10 minutes. This could even be recording this video. What you really need to start doing is just doing more shit that moves you closer to your goals. Listen, you heard it here first. Burnout is bullshit. It's all mental. If you can't control your mind, you're not going to be able to control your mind when it needs to be controlled in business to keep your business afloat. And if you feel tired, it's a good sign. That means that you're doing something right. It means that you are putting in a lot of inputs and you're tiring yourself out. You should be tired, but tell yourself the truth. Are you just sitting around on the couch? Or are you actually getting stuff done? Don't be an NPC. So what's the real solution for burnout? Well, the real solution long-term is to totally recreate yourself. I want you to right now, take out a pen and pad, write down the word recreation. Then underneath, I want you to write down the type of person that you want to become. Write down your dream outcome, right? Is it that you're physically fit? Is it that you have a lot of money? What does that person that has all that stuff do? Write down the tasks that they do on a daily basis. Write it down. What you write, you retain. So write it down now. Now, do you really want to be that person? Do you really want to put in the inputs that they're going to put in? Because you don't have to. You can just be lazy. But remember, when you're lazy, you end up with nothing. Now, I want you to write this down. Audit your circle. Are the people around you moving you closer to your goals or further away from your goals? If they aren't moving you closer to your goals, they're doing you a disservice and you need to cut them off immediately. People don't believe me when I say this, but you have to do this. This step is crucial. You need to kill those limiting beliefs. Write down, I'm not good at, and then fill in the blank. What are you not good at? It's probably a lot. If you can kill those limiting beliefs, you can get back to being productive and eliminate your burnout long-term. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I think you'll also enjoy this one right here.